I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will take more graphical approach than the algebraic approach to analyze the critical points. Question is, consider the derivative f prime x as equal to x times x minus 2 times x plus 3 whole square. Find all critical numbers of f of x and determine whether each corresponds to local maximum or local minimum or neither right so what we are given here is the derivative of the function the derivative of the function is x times x minus 2 times x plus 3 whole square right so from here we can find the critical numbers critical numbers will be at position where the derivative is 0 or does not exist right in this case it will exist everywhere but it could be 0 at some places. So equals to 0 will give us some critical numbers that is at x equals to 0 that is the first one x equals to 2 from the next factor and x equals to minus 3 from the other factor right. Now the question is whether these critical numbers corresponds to local maximum local minimum or neither. So you can have an algebraic approach that is to say uh, you could take test points on either side of these critical numbers. Right? So we do have three critical numbers. Let us say these numbers are minus 3, 0 and 2. So we can take test points, let us say uh, minus 4, minus 1, 1 and 3 and check whether your derivative is positive, negative or what in that interval. Other approaches, we can actually sketch the derivative itself. So let me sketch here and find the solution. So we have three critical numbers as we found x equals to 0, x equals to 2 and minus 3. Let's say these are the three critical numbers. Okay. So the first one here is should be on the leftmost side is minus 3 and then we have 0 and 2. You will also observe that the derivative let's say f prime x is degree 4 then if I am going to sketch both sides are going to be upright now here this is quadratic in nature and therefore when I graph it it is going to bounce back at this point those two are linear in nature right so so what happens is that the graph actually goes kind of like this and then kind of like this so that is the graph for the derivative of the function so we are analyzing derivative So from the graph itself at each critical point you can see so what is happening to the derivative. Derivative is positive and positive do you see that? So that is above the line so it's positive so we can say that the derivative is positive right that means the function f of x will be increasing positive means increasing beyond this point again it is positive it's further increasing do you see that? At this point we have the analysis as it is positive here but on this point it is negative do you see that so if you analyze this point it is changing from positive to negative so that will result into local maximum right so this is local maximum here it goes from this is negative part so it is negative and then positive so it changes from negative to positive so so it is local minimum do you see that so local minimum on the function but on this point it is positive on both sides so it's neither so straight from the graph of our derivative we can find the result i hope that's absolutely clear to you and it's very easy and good to understand now as an exercise what you can do is you can find algebraically how the nature of derivative is near to these critical numbers and where should we have local maximum local minimum or neither that should be interesting thank you and all the best